<laughs> hey guys, welcome again to another indie game review. Today we're talking about a game called Gunpoint. I absolutely love this game from start to finish, and I hope that after watching this video, you'll give it a shot. No pun intended. Before we get started, if you guys could smash that like button, that'd help me out so much. Let's go for 20 likes on this video. I really think we can do it. Now let's get going. Gunpoint is about a freelance Fedora donning spy named Richard Conway, brother of Tin Conway, from the Apple Dumpling Gang. I wonder if anyone will actually catch that reference. Well, moving on, the game is actually about sneaking around and hacking electronics to distract or incapacitate guards. The title Gunpoint is actually really misleading. The game doesn't even give you a gun until late in the game, and using it isn't even that fun. One of my favorite things about Gunpoint is a variety of ways you can tackle missions. You can go in all Rambo style like Sylvester Stallone and be tackling guards out windows, kicking doors down. Or, you can be more tactful and complete every mission like a cat burglar, and anywhere in between. You still complete the job, get some cash, and carry on with the story. It doesn't matter what you do. I really prefer taking on the game like I'm a cat burglar. It lets you play with the game's mechanics more. At the end of every mission, you're given a rating from your client for how well you did. Your ratings are based on how violent you were, the noise you made, if people saw you, and how much time it took you. I tried to get an A plus in all levels, and it seems to me that if you get a gentleman rating and your witnesses are really low, the time you take and the noise you make doesn't really matter. You can also boost your rating by completing bonus objectives. These are laptops with encrypted emails on them and stuff like that. Getting these are usually much harder than completing the main objective, especially if you're going for a gentleman ghost style of play. I really enjoyed the extra challenge of finding them and then trying to get the guards protecting them out of position so I could collect them. There are actually a lot of ways you can mess with the guards in this game. You can turn off the lights in the room they're in to make them start patrolling as well as reduce their vision. You can trick them into shocking themselves with outlets, remotely call an elevator to get their attention, or even rewire their guns so they don't work right. My favorite has to be rewiring doors to knock out guards. Unfortunately, I've also forgotten about my own traps and killed myself a few times. Sometimes you have glorious failures that will have you laughing your head off. The story begins with Tim Conway falling out a third story window. How sad for starting with the bang. Soon after, your next door neighbor is shot and you're led on a series of missions to prove your innocence and get to the bottom of a corporate scandal to find out who really did it. This means hacking security footage, emails, eavesdropping, and stealing. Most of the story comes in the form of text conversations with clients as you discuss the job. I really liked that you could choose responses that changed how the conversation went. You ended up playing spy for both sides of the scandal. Melanie wants you to not use violence while Gessler wants no living witnesses. I found myself taking Rook's side, but that didn't matter as much as I hoped it would. The story and missions are pretty much the same no matter what you choose. The story ends up with you taking out Gessler and maybe the killer depending on the choices you make, but other than that it's the same. Like I said, the dialogue choices you make don't really matter much in changing the outcome of the story. The importance of the dialogue comes in the form of achievements. This encourages a few playthroughs of the game, and I don't mind at all. Replaying the missions a second time after learning all that I did for my first time was actually really fun. I found new strategies, faster times, and things like that. Speaking of achievements, if you'd like me to do achievement videos for the games that I play, I'd love to do that and just let me know in the comments below and I can look into it. Besides replaying the game to get all the achievements, there's a level creator with tons of options. You can also play other people's levels. If you want to try out my level, you can go to the Steam Workshop and type in What's That Sound? and it should be the first one that pops up. It's really good to see a level creator in a game like this. A lot of people have really cool levels showing an understanding of all the mechanics of this game. It also adds a ton to the replayability. I'll be coming back to this game now and again for a long time. The creator of this game is Tom Francis. From what I understand from Wikipedia, Tom worked on this game over the period of about three years on the side while he was an editor for the magazine PC Gamer in the United Kingdom. He recruited a few artists and musicians to work with him closer to the end and launched the game, just hoping for some fun. He never thought that he'd be an indie game developer for his job. But the launch went so well that he quit his job as an editor and now he works full-time making games. I work as a programmer, which I really do love, but I've always wanted to be a game designer. My goal with this series of reviews is to learn from other people who have contributed to the game industry. I think it's awesome that Tom was able to make it as an indie game developer and I look forward to his next project, which is called Heat Sig. This game was super fun, and I really loved the comedy. I loved that you could punch people over and over again. Trying to sneak around on the scene was super fun, and making the guards look stupid was absolutely the best. 
I highly recommend this game. Go to Steam and pick it up. Thank you all so very much for watching. A special thanks to my friend Sam for the artwork for this video. He is an excellent sketch artist, and if you'd like some freelance work done, you can find him at samuel.melvin.art94 at gmail.com. I'm going to post indie game reviews like this once a week, so let me know if you have any games you'd like me to review in the comments down below. Also, I play a game called Heroes of the Storm and post gameplay footage once a week. You can also find it here. Last of all, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel. I really enjoy doing this, and any feedback from you is so encouraging for me to move forward. Thanks again for watching, you guys are awesome.